I, uh, I did my homework on this pastoral charge before I came here, that uh, I knew I was a progressive uh, theologian and I had a mentor living in the area here, a retired United Church minister who knew this charge very, very well and he figured it would be a good fit and um, I trusted him on that. It was not totally open that he was gay when we called him. It wasn't an issue that was discussed. Um, and it wasn't until partway through his, his ministry here that he decided to come out to the congregation. Then it occurred to me that I was doing a very dangerous thing to members of my congregation. I was creating an inner circle that knew ab about my orientation and were able to talk with me quite easily about it. And then there were the rest. I realized that I really needed to, uh, to make it formal to come out. And the one thing about coming out is it allows me now to, to minister out of my full personhood. So nothing is hidden. This isn't a drum that I beat every Sunday. I mean, there are far more important things uh, for us to be concerned about. We people would have hope believe that absolutely things can always get better. And for some folks, this might be the first sign that things are getting better. it's appropriate, I do cite my experiences as a gay man in the church and uh, in, in the wider society too. So I know the feelings of, of oppression. I know what it feels like to be marginalized. I know what it feels like to, to live uh, some kind of a lie. And that isn't authentic living. There were, there were some, uh, some people that had trouble relating to this. Uh, but in general, I say he was very well accepted. In the past five years, many people have gone through the Living the Questions uh, series and uh, uh, participated in sharing their faith and coming to realize that everybody is on a different path and a, a different stage of the path and uh, accepting everybody because they, they are who they are and uh, where they are. Judgment doesn't help anybody. What we like to do is, uh, here is give people uh, a safe place. They can just be themselves. That is. So this is our, uh, our outline for our holy manners. And after the congregation did its work, uh, we had a team of people go together and bring together the ideas. And it turned out to be this wonderful um, acronym, I think you call it. Rich relationships is what we would be working towards because we will be respectful, inclusive, considerate and honest and there's a biblical citation for each of these four sections. We've had uh, people who have come to us uh, that might be described as uh, refugees from toxic religion and they have told us that they find this congregation to be non-judgmental. That, that's the biggest thing for folks that have come from a very rigid um, theological background with heavy and I found when I had kids my uh, my sense in wanting to come to church returned for the uh, aspect of community that it gives us that's difficult and becoming more difficult to find today. It's like a great big family. You can just come in at any, any time and they'll be here open arms and happy to see you. Rural isn't the way it used to be. People can be rural but no longer agricultural. We have, I think, three farmers in the congregation now. And really what we have are people that are quite urban. They just happen to have an address out in the country. Is that uh, This uh, charge, which was formerly two points, is now fully amalgamated. The, uh, the easiest way that uh, they found to do it was uh, according to the date. So if it's an even date, they're in Dalston. If it's an odd date, we're at Crown Hill. I try never to refer to the congregation as small. I, I think we're family-sized. And, and uh, everybody appreciates his care and his concern and his, uh, his way of doing things. I'm very casual in my worship. 
Um, now, some people may have a real problem with that, who like worship to be very formal, uh, they like worship to, to be very reverent, and um, that's really not who I am. That's not. I'd like your feedback on how this service feels. The big difference is that communion is going to be moved up considerably closer to the beginning of the service. When I came, we had our first woman minister after she introduced us to, to new ways. And since then, all our, our, our ministers until George were, were women. We want to find places where we belong. Incarnation is about belonging. We've had a great nine years.